how's it going so we are back today with another episode of what i eat in a week so i did go ahead and do some measurements for you guys today so i'll list all the measurements up here you guys know that my previous weight was 192.3 pounds i did not weigh myself this week i'm probably gonna weigh myself on the fourth week just because um you know things been going on i've been going through a lot of stuff right now stress eating and stuff like that so um that's for another day but i still wanted to make sure that i give you guys the measurements today so you guys are my measurements but my original weight was 192.3 pounds now you guys know that i'm trying to get my weight down to well i didn't tell you guys so i'm trying to get my weight down to about 170 175 that's my comfort zone so i got a little bit way up the mountain right now but it sh everything should be fine this is not a race this is just kind of like a lifestyle thing try to lose at least two to three pounds a month which is what i'm trying to do just so that becomes more of a maintenance mode type of thing so guys hope you guys enjoy today's episode of what i eat in a week there's a lot of food ideas and stuff in the video so hope you guys enjoy it this is 1500 calories like i said if i do 1600 calories or 1700 calories one day it's not that big of a deal but i try to keep it at 1500 calories per day so let's go ahead guys and jump into this episode of what i eat in a week. so i did want to do some more veggies this week i didn't have anything in my fridge since i came back from uh lisbon and nice i basically cleared out the fridge before so when i got back i threw everything else that was old out and just wanted to start fresh so i got my green peppers a lime <clears throat> uh white onion two avocados this time i did get the spicy italian chicken sausage you guys know that has pork casing i just cut the casing off banging um i got th four cans of tuna this time because i want to do tuna and crackers now if you guys have not tried this before i recommend you try this this tastes so good with those um trader joe's not garlic non crackers or any type of crackers it's very very good guys so definitely try this i picked this one up i also got some nuts this time so i got a mixed pack of the almonds cranberries and cashew trail uh, trex mix um it's 10 bags looks pretty good sometimes you can grab nuts to go it's only 210 calories if you're looking for a snack so i said why not um my boyfriend wanted that sliced french brioche bread it's really really good guys one slice is 160 calories so even if you want to have one slice of this with like an egg on top and two slices of the bacon avocado and like a little fruit salad on the side you can make a bomb 500 calorie meal with this so just one slice though because obviously one slice is 160 calories but this bread so so good and buttery guys delicious i got my everything falling apart i got uh strawberries i also got raspberries when i was in um nice we went to the Marcus Farmer's Market, and when I tell you guys that the strawberries and raspberries were delicious, I bodied them. Like, I was the last one finishing everything out of the whole entire group that we were in. So, um, that kind of makes me want to go to Farmer's Markets, like, because, like, the stuff is so fresh. So, I just had the vibe, so I got both of these to try to eat this week. I got some tomatoes, green beans, and I also picked up a cantaloupe. I'm going to cut this up um, and put it in a container and eat it for the week just because I'm trying to get fruits in and other things that are low calories. I got some turkey bacon per usual. Uh, you guys did suggest that I try the mandarin orange chicken, so I picked it up at Trader Joe's. This one, I mean, these are pretty much all the same calories-wise. It's not nothing crazy. If you want to have this with like a cup of rice, you're good. So one cup of this one cooked is 320 calories. A cup of cooked white rice from the Goya brand is 160. So you can go ahead and make yourself just a cup of this, some green beans on the side, and a cup of rice, and you're good to go. So that's why I like to do these because it's measured. You can just measure it out once you're done with it. So one full cup is 320 calories. A cup of white rice is about a 160 to 180. And then green beans, which is damn near like 15 calories. And yeah, so you have a meal. So I like getting these. So I can't wait to try this one. I also got the roasted potatoes just because the roasted potatoes are just simple for breakfast. You can also eat this as a substitute over fries if you want to do like a burger or something. Just have like a cup of these. A cup of this one is 170 calories, guys. It's actually a pretty good serving. So it's just, just basic ingredients. Potatoes, peppers, and onions. Like it's not that deep. So I usually like this instead of getting fries. I don't really like the fries from Trader Joe's that much anymore. Like the hand cut ones. I do like the sweet potato ones. But instead of doing that, I'm just trying to do... Like some type of veggie instead just because i just be doing too much you know i got the whole wheat spaghetti if i didn't mention that already i got my chunky spicy guac which is good um i like this one a lot guys tastes really really good ingredients are very simple on the back so it's just avocado has avocado tomato red pepper onion cilantro so it's a very clean ingredient so make sure i'll be reading the ingredients now me and Dan were talking about this the other day just read the ingredients it's clean um 
clean or um, ingredients. Why am I stuttering? Anyways, so I did get some red Argentinian shrimp because I want to do like a shrimp po' boy. I got like these mini wedges. Like if I do this, I'll just have like a shrimp po' boy and like a smoothie or a drink just because you can't really have chips and all that on the side. But um, I wanted to do a few pieces and do like a little of a batter and just uh, pan fry it in some olive oil and see how that turns out. So I might do that. I might just put it in the air fryer. The air fryer might be good too. So I might air fry these and make them crunchy. I got some arugula, some spinach, cucumber, red potatoes so I can make mashed potatoes this week. I got some of the spinach artichoke dip. This is 100 and, oh no, 40 cows for two tablespoons, which is actually pretty good. So this is actually a really good, like, you know, if you're having like a snack, blazing, guys. This tastes so good. Turkey burgers for the week. I had salmon burgers last week, so I wanted to switch it up. I got some chicken tenderloins and some ground turkey, just in case I want to do like a little pasta dish. Heavy on the ground turkey, light on the spaghetti. Um, and I got the light shredded cheese, and I also got my drinks. Well, I didn't show you this. I got the tomato paste, onion salt. Y'all know my pasteurized raised eggs. I got the lemonade, guys, both lemonades. I got my three this time. I only got three of these apple cider drinks. And then I also decided to try the sparkling lemonade out. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to taste, but I said, let me go ahead and get it, and we're going to try it out. So I picked that one up. I think it was like $3.99. And I also, oh, let me see if I can bring it I also picked out this little uh, gallon of water. So I can kind of try to see if I could just try to drink one of these. Like, I think 120 fluid ounces is quite a lot. It's one gallon. So you guys drink one gallon of water a day, right? So I need to see if I can manage to drink this in a day and then keep refilling. I have my Brita uh, filter in the fridge. But I think this would be cool to try to use this as my water jug to drink. And I just picked it out because, you know, sometimes the brittle water be too damn cold. I like kind of room temperature water, so I'm going to keep this one out. So, yeah. So, that was basically it. Oh, I have some more things to show you guys I got at Target. Let me grab those. All right, guys. So, I did pick up a few things yesterday when I went to Target. I got the Simply Lays. Now, Dan convinced me to get these because look at the ingredients on the back. Potatoes, sunflower exactly. oil, and sea salt. You are on speaker, Dar. So, um... Horrible. This guy. Disgusting. Don't buy it. I'm joking. <laughs> Anyways, these myself. are these are really good, guys. These are really, 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 really good. Um, I also got um, the Simple Mills almond flour crackers, rosemary and sea salt. I did the chin this week. So this one is 150 cows for 17 crackers. I'm not even sure how big these crackers are, but I mean, it'll be nice to have these with some tuna. I got some white vinegar. Sugar-free ketchup. This one's pretty good. It's uh, 10 calories for one tablespoon, which is really good. So I always get the sugar-free ketchup. I get the light mayo. The light mayo is 35 calories each for one tablespoon as well, too. So these are pretty long calories. So if you want to use these, I'm, I'm used to um, eating them with the no sugar by now. So they don't even matter to me. And then I got the mini non-garlic flatbread. So this comes with 10. It came from all these, and I paid, I think, like $3 for this. One non is 140 calories, so you can do, like, non sandwiches or whatever you want, little mini pizzas. And it is garlic, so it's probably banging. So this is all I got yesterday from Target. Oh, and I also got some pickles. I lied. I got some pickles from Aldi as well, too, some kosher dill sandwich slices. I like the long way slice. It just hits way different. You feel me? All right, guys. So good morning. I'm having a basic breakfast. I even cook it for you guys because you guys already see me make grits and eggs. I got two pieces of turkey sausage, a quarter cup of grits, two scrambled eggs, and I also have a cup of fruit, which is strawberries and raspberries. So this is my first meal. I will obviously cook the other two meals for you guys so you guys can see what they are because I'm not doing takeout because I need to start cooking and watching. So yeah, here we are.
so this is what I'm eating for lunch. I made the sandwich, uh, three pieces of chicken, uh, chipotle chicken, two slices of turkey bacon, some spinach, light mayo, and the bread is a 80 calories per slice. It's the honey wheat uh, split top bread. Um, I counted the chips. I had one chip, y'all. These chips right here, so, so good. Like, I just want to point out the ingredients. This is like the cleanest chip I've ever seen ingredient-wise. Potatoes, sunflower oil, and sea salt. That is all the ingredients on this this bag of chips. So I don't know if you guys, I know I recommend it to you guys. The puffs, the puffs are delicious. The cheddar ruffles, A1. I like those. Those are probably my favorite. Damn, it's, between those three bags, they're the best bags. Oh, God. But guys, this one right here, go ahead, hand clap it. It's really, really good. I measured out 26, 28 grams, about 17 chips, which is 160 calories. I also have my Trader Joe's sparkling apple cider drink, which is 35 calories for the can. I like to have a little apple cider vinegar, so I get it in a drink form. So there you go. And the pickle zero calories. So that's your little sandwich and your drink combination for lunch. For dinner, I'm going to do a salad. So you guys will see the salad I have for Din Din. But here you go. have to explain this salad because it looks so freaking good guys so I use the lettuce that I got today from Target I showed it to you guys so a cup of that one with the kind of like little um, seasoning let me show you guys the pack so I didn't use that much of it it's like the crouton pack I used like a good amount of the crouton pack and I think just kind of mix it in with the corn on top but what I did was I roasted one sweet potato, as you guys saw. I cut the sweet potato up. I had a piece of salmon that was just a small portion. It was like a really small slither, so I just chopped it up, put it right there. I did some black beans. I did a third cup of black beans. I did tomatoes. I did half of an avocado. And this uh, uh, dressing is the Green Goddess dressing from Target, which is really good. Two tablespoons is 130 calories, which is not bad. So it's not that heavy in calories. Oh, also, the corn, I used a third cup of corn, the roasted corn from Trader Joe's two-thirds cup is 110 calories I did one-third cup of the roasted corn so that's basically everything guys it's kind of like a like a veggie salad I did the tomatoes obviously the avocado the sweet potato as the carb and then a little bit of these crunchies but I mean like come on now really so um yeah so that's basically it it looks really good I like my even though some of this stuff is hot I like to let the salad cool down a little bit before I eat it um, so this is the look. So this is going to be my dinner. I think I'm going to have an ice cream bar for dessert and that's going to be that. I had for snack today, I had one nature's bakery bar. I had one fig bar earlier in the day when I was on my travels. And then I had the other one after I had my sandwich with the chips. By the way, I got to repeat this again. Those chips are off the hook. The sandwich and the chips and the pickle was a perfect sized meal for lunch, guys. It was perfect, 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 delicious. So I'm having a salad tonight. I'm trying not to do too much rice, even though I like rice. Tomorrow I'm probably going to have rice or pasta. So I'm trying to do like a salad, a sandwich. The grits earlier today was like nothing. Calorie-wise, that one was like maybe like 160 calories. But it's, you know, a good start. I think tomorrow I'm going to do oatmeal and um, two hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. Um, uh, eggs for the protein and the oatmeal for the fiber. And just the berries and strawberries because they was, they was kicking last night. So I think right now... 
after I eat this, I'm gonna probably cut that cantaloupe up in my I might have cantaloupe as a snack tonight. So cantaloupe might be my um, nightly snack. But this is a salad. Try something different with the roasted sweet potatoes. I feel like that's gonna hit. So that'll be something else to try, guys. Instead of having like maybe like non bread or like crackers or something, I just did a healthier carb, which is the sweet potatoes roasted. So yeah, and the sweet potatoes. Look at that. Looks so good. So oh my god, look at that. So it's gonna be. Mm, Alright guys, so we're starting the day off with oatmeal. I'm um, doing two packs of the Quaker's Original. Each pack of oatmeal is 100 calories, so that's 200 calories for the oatmeal. I'm going to use some ground cinnamon. I'm going to use one cinnamon stick just for the essence. Um, I have a little bit of Dominican um, vanilla flavor, but this don't really got that much flavor. I just add like a little drop of that in there. A little bit of salt. And then I'm going to use the non-dairy oat beverage from Trader Joe's. I only do almond milk or oat milk. I don't drink regular milk. Like, that's not it no more. I don't think the last time I drank regular milk was like years ago. I don't, that's not for me. So, we're going to go ahead and have this one. It's a cup for 90 calories, but I'm going to do half a cup of this for 45 calories and then mix it with half a cup of water. So, I'll put that in uh, one of my measuring cups. So, I'm going to do half a cup and half a cup of water combination in here. And, yeah, so let's go ahead and So here goes the kale salad that I'm having, the soup, and then the three chicken tenders. So that's my meal. I'll put the calories in here for you guys. At um, Chick-fil-A, they actually have the calories on everything. So yeah, so there's my meal. So I just did a little sweet potato right here. I split the chicken up and took half of it. And then I have the avocado and the green beans that I just basically sauteed in the juices of the chicken. So this is dinner. It's a good side of veggies. We got our nice piece of chicken and our avocado. So this is dinner for tonight. Today was a pretty good eating day. Like I, It was a good eating day today. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. I've actually had this before in what I eat a week. It's the apple cinnamon oatmeal bite from Trader Joe's. So three of these are 240 calories. I'm going to go ahead and slice a banana up on top of them and then put a little bit of um, peanut butter. Uh, these taste really, really good. So I'm going to kind of like chop them up and make it kind of like, you know, a little bowl of it. And then I'm also going to have two hard boiled eggs on the side. And that's going to be my breakfast. Something light. It is oatmeal, so it has fiber and it should keep me full. I'll show you guys how I set it up. Put like a little cinnamon, a little peanut butter drizzle the banana, make it like a little like an oatmeal bowl and then have two hard boiled eggs on the side. So make that and I'll be back. Both 
add salt and pepper it up. And then I have the little bowl thing I did, the oatmeal bites. Three is 240. Uh, kind of small size banana. I did like a little bit of peanut butter drizzle on top and some cinnamon. And that is that for that. So a little fruit, a little fiber, and your eggs. And it's thundering outside too. So here is my first meal of the day. I'm starting my first meal at 1 o'clock. So. Okay, so I went ahead and seasoned the shrimp. I just put some onion salt on it, garlic, and black pepper. And that was that for the season. Because I didn't want the shrimp to be just like too seasoned. You, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to kind of do like a little... Um, like an air frying method, I guess. I don't know. So I'm about to use a little bit of cornstarch on this just to kind of give it like a flowery exterior, I guess. Because we're air frying, we're not going to fry it, fry it. So hopefully this can give it like, you know, like a little fried look, even though it probably ain't. But hey, we're going to go ahead and try it out. You feel me? So I'm going to try to like baste them with a little bit of uh, cornstarch. Because cornstarch will make your stuff crispy. I'm not doing this right, y'all. I don't think so. We're just trying to get it like a little bit, a little bit flaky. Um, I was looking to see if I had some baking powder because baking powder also works really well on trying to get your stuff crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, that's that bake, you know, be a baking powder. Where's the baking powder? Oh, there you go. So baking powder works as well too in the air fryer to make your items crispy. So if y'all didn't know that trick, and baking powder has no calories, so you just put like a little baking powder on it. To give it like a little crisp, you feel me? I think that's all I'm going. I don't think I'm gonna toss them around anymore. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and then just place them on a parched piece of parchment paper. I need to go to Amazon and order those little um, liners, but I'm gonna use some parchment paper so that it doesn't it gets crispy and not wet. Y'all feel me? So yeah, let me get some parchment paper. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. All right, guys, I'm just lining them up on the parchment paper. Trying to get them some space, but you know, this is, I need a bigger air fryer to be honest. If you guys have any recommendations for air fryers, like maybe on Amazon, because Amazon ship fast and I got Amazon Prime. So, yeah. So that is back basically, I'm going to let it get crispy. I'm not going to spray it first. I'm going to leave it in for like five minutes and then I'm going to spray the top with some olive oil um, spray from Trader Joe's. And then, because I don't want it to have that white dusty look, so I'm going to spray it after it, cool, it cooks a little bit first. And then I'll flip it. So let's go ahead and pop it in the air frizz All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of the or New Orleans Cajun. They're already pretty crispy at this point. Y'all see that? Just in the air fryer. So I'm just going to top them off with some. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let me shake that up. Just so that they have like a little bit of a Cajun taste to them. You know what I mean? So look at the shrimp, guys. They look pretty good. I'm going to just turn the sides out. They're kind of still like, you know, a little soggy, soggy. Not soggy, but just not as firm. But look at that. That looks like a real shrimp pole boy. Like, look at that Cajun shrimp. Okay. So I'm going to pop it back in the oven for a few more minutes just so I can get its final crisp up. And then we're going to dress the bun, which is actually in the, t in the oven right now getting crispy. shrimp po' boy it looks really good my bread split in half which I'm mad about but whatever you guys saw I measured this it's 160 calories for 28 grams but I did 29 it's, just, it's 160 calories with the chips pickles zero calories the bread is about 180 calories the shrimp um, but as far as the cornstarch the cornstarch is 30 calories each tablespoon or tea tablespoon so I'll say I maybe use like 60 calories worth of it and then the baking soda is zero so that's how you can air fry and make it good just put dry seasoning on it Tomato, light mayo, guys, you guys know I use the Hellman's light mayo. And that's it. I can put hot sauce on it if I want to or whatever, but I wanted to keep it kind of like traditional po' boy. I did put like a little salt and pepper on the lettuce just to give it like a little bit of flavor. But come on, like, what? Are y'all seeing this? Like, let me come closer to the shrimp. Y'all see that? Look at that shrimp. Air fried, crispy, and perfect. Guys... I think I done did something with this one. I'm showing them that you're preparing my one cup of rice. Okay, pezel, pezel. <laughs> okay, now. Ploop, Go. 
I'm gonna, uh, there you go. Okay? One cup of rice. <laughs> what about one jet piece of chicken? I like it. And that is all. Folks. Avocado? Yeah.
the pizza. The cheese that I use is a Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's a light shredded cheese blend, three cheese blend. This one is a quarter cup for 80 calories. So we'll say we use about half a cup. That'll be 160 calories. I use 14 pepperonis on the pizza. Now, oh, snap. So the pizza is, I mean the pizza, the pepperoni. The pepperoni is about 15 pieces, 15 slices for 70 calories. So I'm off one pepperoni, but it is what it is. So it's 70 calories for the pepperoni and the non was 150 calories. I add a little bit of dressing, uh, Trader Joe's um, green goddess dressing on the side just to dip it in. So I did go ahead and put a little bit of my favorite uh, gourmet collection oregano and basil tomato spice blend just for like a dry seasoning on top of it. You can get these at TJ Maxx or $3.99, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whichever one, or Home Goods. They all sell them, so.